Deep Right with Ralph K. Genorio. One person, one vote. This November, we are being asked to decide if we wish to eliminate voting as we know it. Instead of this of the tried and true principle of one person, one vote, ranked choice ballots force voters to select their first, second, third, and fourth preferences. Each voter must actually vote for every candidate. If a communist were running in my precinct here in Idaho, I would be compelled to indicate that the communist would be my fourth choice. Now, under no circumstances would I, a descendant of Cubans who barely escaped Castro, ever confer legitimacy on a red by a positive vote in their favor. A Jewish voter who discovered an anti-Semite on their ballot would be compelled to vote for a National Socialist or an Islamist, even if only in last place. Ranked choice voting, as they are proposing here in Idaho, defiles what is a positive vote. It redefines what a vote really means. It ignores the idea that a vote is the tangible expression of the consent of the governed. Ranked choice voting is a betrayal of our constitutional principles. Open primaries allow those who cannot fairly win elections to illegitimately skew results in their favor. Political parties exist for people with common ideals to pool resources and earn legitimate electoral power by nominating like-minded candidates and campaigning for them. Parties, a form of political expression, should not be suppressed by some state intervention of ranked choice voting or of open primaries. Voting should never be a clever scheme to manipulate results. Rather, it should be a crystal clear expression of one's principles in action. One person, one vote is at the heart of our American Republic. We should never, ever stray from this bed bedrock principle. Vote no on ranked choice voting and open primaries this election here in Idaho.